2018. Yeah, I've already made breakfast. That is a four egg omelet with bacon, asparagus, spinach, cheese, and mushrooms. So that's the meal. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. I got a lot of probably editing to do today. I feel like the content is like too far apart from when I film it. So like the last video that I put up, Monday's content. So I wanna try to play catch up, maybe get two videos up today so that I'm two days at the most. So whatever I filmed Friday or Thursday is what would typically go up today. Uh, I really like to do one day, like film today, upload tomorrow, but um, I'm still getting better and learning and getting faster and all that kind of stuff. So with all that being said, that's gonna be the goal today. I'm gonna take you into my kitchen <coughs> and into my fridge and show you what items I keep on hand for this lifestyle. Let's see what's in the freezer. You keep extra bacon. You always gotta have extra bacon on hand. And I keep salmon, I really love salmon. And then I started like checking out these like cauliflower things, like this cauliflower rice. And then you've got mashed cauliflower here. You can make your own using fresh cauliflower and that's probably a better solution than this, but I, I've had cauliflower and I just haven't made any, so I decided to try some of these. But with again, you gotta watch out for the added ingredients, added sugar, because I did notice, you know, there's two grams of sugar per serving. List cornstarch as one of the ingredients. So you gotta watch out for stuff like that. You gotta be careful. But I got some fat bombs still left that I made. Sunflower seed, dry roasted. Frozen cauliflower, some frozen broccoli. I also use the fresh, but that's just convenient. And then we've got, as you've seen before, we got the very good, but very expensive macadamia nuts. Different types of almonds in there. And if you've checked out my almond review video, you've seen what the different almonds are. Another staple that I keep on hand is apple cider vinegar. So many great benefits to this. You definitely need to be drinking it if you're not. I use it in a lot of different things, just in a drink in the morning and stuff like that. Got your extra virgin olive oil. And these are the spices and seasonings and all those kind of flavorings that I like to stock. Avocado oil. Spices are good because you're gonna need flavor since you're not taking in sugar and and you know carbs and stuff like that. So I got some pumpkin spice mix. If you saw, that came in very handy when I tried to make uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, so check that video out. Always have Italian seasoning. I love Italian. Italian food, if you've seen the video episode about who am I, is one of my favorite foods. But because of the ketogenic lifestyle, I'm not really eating that because I'm not eating pasta and stuff like that. Cinnamon, ground cinnamon, keep that. Himalayan sea salt, cream of tartar. I believe it has potassium in it, if I'm correct. Bunch of Mrs. Dashes. You just gotta make sure that your seasonings don't have added sugar to them. My turmeric, ground ginger, a lot of salt on hand, some baking powder, stuff like that. So we got pork grinds, different flavors and types. Got almond flour. Almond flour is a good substitute. It's lower in carbohydrates than like regular flour. Uh, it's only got five grams of carbohydrates. You know, some kind of, don't have to, but a good sugar replacement. This one is Swerve. It's got erythritol in it. And I almost forgot over here one of the sugar substitutes um, that I keep on hand is liquid stevia. Smoked sausage jerky type thing. We've got coconut oil. You always gotta have coconut oil, coconut oil on hand. I mean, 14 grams of fat for one tablespoon. So that, you know, is gonna be really good for getting fats in. I keep bone broth on hand, different types of bone broth. You got chicken, you got beef. Uh, it's just really good for your gut health. 
is what Blue? What do you want? Wanna be on camera, huh? Another thing I've started adding is sardines. So I have a bunch of different sardines here. Get your omegas, your omega threes. You always want to make sure that you get wild caught and that the carbs, you know, are zero. There's no added sugars to it. So I have sardines and olive oil. This one probably has a little more carbs in it. It's in tomato sauce. So you gotta watch that, two grams of carbs, but there's one gram of fiber, so that's not too bad. Oh, just a heads up, if you see stuff that's like non-ketogenic, Coca-Cola, or other items, uh, you know, that's because my grandfather and my dad, you know, live here too. And my grandfather loves a little bit of Coke just to get a little bit of sugar in. So you might see some stuff that's not mine. Lemon juice here. Different ranch dressings because ranch is awesome. You got a three cheese ranch. Now these, I got these before I started keto, so I typically, you know, would have the regular cream cheese now, but I still need to try to use these up. You know, the problem with fat free is going to be right there three grams of sugar. Those are things you got to watch out for. When you see fat free on the ingredients you're gonna find extra sugar that's that's how they keep it tasting good this is definitely keto if you've watched any of my videos you know i love my Kerrygold butter and <laughs> they don't always have it in stock so when it's there you got to make sure you get it started eating sauerkraut i'll be honest you know since starting this ketogenic diet i i've tried new foods or at least used foods that I haven't eaten in a long time and more often like sauerkraut. I don't know that I've ever really had sauerkraut. And you obviously know my whole experience with avocados. I keep referencing videos, but if you've, you need to check out the Are Avocados Dangerous video and see my experience with avocados. But I got some ghee back here, some, you know, for, for just when I want some butter but I want it to be, you know, lower in protein. Back in here, you got, you got cheddar here. I think you got white cheddar and then you got Swiss. Again, I'm eating so much cheese and I didn't used to eat a lot of cheese before, but it's so good. I really love cheese. We got some cottage cheese. You always gotta make sure with cottage cheese that you get like the 4% milk fat. Oh, I started getting these little guacamole things, just, because it's good and when I don't have time to make avocado stuff I have that asparagus so asparagus is another one I never really used to eat asparagus but now I've been eating asparagus pretty regular and it's really good bacon gotta have your bacon now with bacon again this is one of those you have to watch out for right I'm gonna say here on the package Look at this, zero carbohydrates, right? So you're like, that's good. But then when you come down here, what do you find? You find sugar listed in the curing ingredients. So there's extra sugar added. So you wanna watch out for that. They get away with that stuff. I don't know how they do, but they do. So my simple meals, if you've seen these HEB simple meals, you know, I get the ones that are, that are low in carbs. This one is skinless ch chicken breast green beans cheddar cheese and bacon and it's awesome it's 52 grams of protein and only three grams of carbs and the fat's pretty low i mean it's 18 which is kind of average but i add butter to it and cheese and other things you got mushroom stuffed mushrooms those are good and then you got your steak your flank steak with stuffed spinach and feta Again, only four carbs per serving of that. So those are some staple meals I've started having. <laughs> having? I've started having just because they're quick. Cheeses in here. Just, you can't go wrong with cheeses. Spinach. I already was eating a ton of spinach, but I'm eating a, a lot, lot more now. Eggs. I'm eating a bunch of eggs, but I've, I've always loved eggs. Pasture raised eggs. That's what you want to get. No hormones, no antibiotics. These are the kind of eggs you want to get. 
We got our almond milk back there. We got our coconut milk, both unsweetened, no sugar added. We got zucchini. In my latest videos, I showed you my newest toy that I got for the kitchen. And it is what I used to make this, which are zucchini noodles because I was buying them and they're expensive for very little. So now I make my own and that's really good. Chicken wing portions. The wings are gonna be higher in fat. So again, with ketogenic, that's what you're gonna want. It's gonna give you more flavor and it's gonna help you with your, your fats and stuff. Over here in this fresh vent technology container, just to keep them fresher longer, you've got the infamous avocados. And I've, again, been eating a more avocados than, than I ever have. I don't, honestly, I don't even know if before the ketogenic diet if I ever ate avocado. I may have tried like guacamole, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. You gotta have your grass-fed ground beef, your, you know, your grass-fed beef that's more of like your steak material. And then here you go, you get your organic beef, stew meat, those kind of things. And then here's my cabinet of other supplemental things. And again, I've showed this in my other video, but I got the MCT oil, which I tried for the first time at the gym the other day, and I really didn't have a problem with it. But I also have the oil powder, and I got the ketone salt back there, got the cow powder, got beef bone broth protein, cocoa, cacao nibs, um, big bag of coconut flour, that's the monk fruit sweetener, I'm not a big fan of it, but I still have it, we got more shredded coconut back there, um, got some proteins by Quest, Quest protein powders, um, just cause they're lower in carbs than a lot, and they, they, they use, um, they use sucralose as as their sweetener, so you know th that seems to work okay. You got your different water flavors up here. These are good. Those are also good for for fat bombs. Like if you want more of a like a fruit flavored or like a sweet flavored uh, fat bomb versus a you know more of a decadent like chocolate. Right, and here's what we keep in the pantry on stock for keto. I mean, I got some baking chocolates and stuff in here, 100% cacao. For peanut butter, this is probably one of your better choices, the PB2 powdered peanut butter, just because you're only gonna have four grams of carbohydrates in that, and, and two of that's gonna be fiber. So only two net carbs for two tablespoons. So that's not bad at all. Again, you gotta watch out for too many artificial sweeteners and stuff, but these have been a go-to even before keto. It's the Walden's Farms calorie-free, which also means sugar-free. They got like an artificial sweetener in them, but they make all kinds of stuff. So I keep those stocked pretty regularly. So you got barbecue, thick and spicy, sesame ginger, Thousand Island, ketchup, and I also got some reduced sugar ketchup here. You got your Italian back there, the original, the honey barbecue, blueberry syrup, chocolate syrup. Their syrups, those are really good for fat bombs as well because they give it a sweet flavor and you get stuff like blueberry. Like I have some blueberry fat bombs that I'm still finishing. And then in here, this is a staple one, pancake syrup. Probably the best one that they make. Um, Cause you can put that in anything and it makes it sweeter and good. And then you also got caramel down here, which is really good. And then again, for fat bombs, you got strawberry. And then they got all kinds of other ones. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what my cabinet, fridge, Everywhere else, that's that's what I keep on hand for for the ketogenic lifestyle. If anything you saw that you know isn't good, that maybe I haven't discovered yet, like that I've overlooked, let me know in the comments. Or if there's something I don't have that you're like, oh man, you gotta try this on keto. Like you gotta have this. Whoa. This is one of my staples. Yes, Blue, we all see you. Okay. 
Okay. You get your attention. Good. He just wants to be on camera. But yeah, so leave a comment if there's anything I missed. If there's some food that you're like, man, why aren't you eating blank, you know? Let me know, because I want to try new foods. I want to try things I haven't tried before. I, I want to try foods that are, you know, maybe different because, you know, sauerkraut, avocado, cheeses, you know, finding out that I really like those things. So help me out. All right, this is going to be the meal. We're going to have one portion of the flank steak stuffed with spinach and feta. We're going to have a portion of the salmon. We're going to have some zucchini noodles, butter, guacamole, cheese, and coconut oil. Really got to get yourself one of these. I mean, n no, it's seriously, you think I'd just be telling you to get a pot? No, this is not just any pot, it makes dinner for you. Seriously, watch. All you got to do is think about what you want to eat and then just place it down on the stove. Boom, done. See, told you, that's all you gotta do.